our uh, our next speaker is Jay Gang Lu. He's a principal research engineer at Arm Incorporation in Boston, Massachusetts. His research area include neural network optimization, such as parsing and quantization, and power efficient hardware accelerator. Uh, Ji Gang. Thanks for the introduction. Um, at the title, of my presentation is a uh, low precision window grid convolution or a radio number system. Um, those are my coworkers from ARM. So this is the agenda of my talk. Uh, so basically, we uh, we construct a novel algorithm by combining the fast window grid convolution. Um, uh, and the radio number system to actually the low precision, uh, low precision uh, convolution for efficient uh, inference. So let's uh, take a look at what is a uh, radio number system first. Uh, for given uh, integer x, uh, we can represent x uh, in the RNS by a bunch of uh, Remainders x mode by m zero x mode by m one blah blah x mode by m n minus one, and we call this m i collection of the m i as the uh, moduli of the RNS. Uh, they must be pairwise co prime each other. So, for example, if x equals six, we can represent uh, x in the RNS uh, by a uh, vector two and one. So we can also define the basic arithmetic operation in the radio number system. Uh, here we can define plus minus and multiply. So they are very simple, just a element wise operation between two uh, value X and Y. Uh, for example, you can do uh, X plus Y, X minus Y, X multiply Y. And also we can convert a fraction X over Y uh, to the RNS. As long as the denominator y is co prime to all the moduli mi of the RNS. For example, uh, if y equals 3, which is co prime to 4 and 5, and then we can calculate uh, a third in the RNS, which is uh, two and, uh, 3 and 2. And finally, we can, uh, if there is a value in, inside RNS, we can convert it back to the normal number system use uh, Chinese remainder theory of CRT for short. Uh, so X is a number mode by M. Uh, M is a called the dynamic range of the RNS, uh, which is the product of the other moduli. For example, if a two come uh, two and one in RNS, we can convert back to the normal number system, which is six mode by 20. 20 is the dynamic range of the RNS. So let's switch gear to take a look at the condition uh, of the convolution neural network. Uh, we know we can do like uh, post processing of uh, condition retraining to convert a full precision model to a uh, low precision. Uh, low precision I means int 8 or sub 8, uh, 8 bit. So here we give uh, some popular. Um, uh, CN models uh, in the in the red column, their um, full precision prediction accuracy, and uh, the green column uh, is the uh, prediction accuracy of the corresponding uh, low precision model. So the purpose of composition is to reduce the model size, so also um, have a smaller memory for, uh, footprint during the inference time. And most importantly, is uh, quantization can enable the low cost, high throughput, uh, low low precision arithmetic operation like uh, int eight or int sixteen, which could be critical to the power constrained edge devices. So we know we know the quantization can make the activation and weight both be a low precision uh, integer values. And we we also have options to quantize CNN models with different precisions. And the 2D convolution uh, is the majority operation of the CN model. So we hope to further uh, accelerate uh, those low precision convolution operations. We also know that the fast window grid algorithm can speed up convolutions. So let's take a look at that. Um, what's the fast window grid uh, convolution? Um, 
as bookable visually. So given uh, input uh, n by n in, uh, input acquisition tile D and the I bar R kernels G, uh, in, in order to calculate the convolution Y, we first uh, do the mean grid transform by multiplying some constant matrix from left and right side of the D and G. And then we do the element-wise modi modification between two transformation. And finally, do the reverse uh, vinegar transform, get the final uh, convolution Y precisely. This procedure is a complex re uh, re reduction uh, scheme. Uh, this, this diagram shows uh, the complex reduction versus the transformation dimension. So for example, if the transformation is 12 by 12, uh, we can get up to a factor of 6.25 uh, complexity reduction. So we continue on the window grid convolutions. Um, however, the larger, uh, the larger dimension of transformation, for example, 12 by 12, uh, result in a numerical instability. Basically, this is an example for those uh, wind grid transformation metrics we saw on the previous slide. Um, those metrics, when the tran tran transformation uh, dimension is large, for, for example, 12 by 12, they are in the ill condition uh, numerically. You can see that some value of those metrics are extremely large and some value is extremely small. In order to guarantee the correctness, we need a high precision arithmetic. For example, we, we at least need the LP32, probably double precision as well. This is a bad because the high precision operation costs uh, much, much expensive than the simple int8 operation. So now the problem is how to actually the low precision 2D convolution, but not use expensive full precision arithmetic. Our solution is to perform the window grid convolution over the residual number system. So basically, instead of calculate convolution Y directly, we calculate uh, Y mode or modulus of the RNS. So uh, the transformation matrix here is the modular, uh, modulo of the normal transformation matrix we saw in the previous uh, slide, which is AO conditions. For example, if we take the moduli MI at 253, okay, then we also know those transformation matrix, uh, AO condition trans matrix. We can, we can get uh, three new tra uh, transformation matrix by modular operation. And those, those new metrics, those new three new matrices in the green box are all in a low precision form. So which means we can calculate Y mode 253 purely use a low precision arithmetic. This is a, a still be a complexity reduction uh, algorithm where this uh, lowercase n could be uh, in the range of one to three. And lastly, um, we assume we can do this uh, operation for each module of the RNS. And then finally, we use a CRT to uh, reconstruct the, the actual convolution Y um, from the RNS. And to guarantee the correctness of RNS, we construct RNS, or we use RNS with a larger enough dynamic range. So now we let's take a look at performance evaluation results uh, for this new uh, proposal. So this is the the, the unit test uh, benchmark uh, on the ARM Cortex A uh, processor. So horizontally, this represents different convolution operations. For example, th this one is a batch one, 32 by 32 input activation and 128 128 input output channels. And, uh, and vertically, it's the maximum throughput. 
and the the orange color orange color is the baseline, which is the standard um, IM2 core plus GM convolution implementation, and the blue and green color represent our uh, new algorithm. And you can see um, if you can see that our new proposal outperformed the baseline by factor this one by factor two. Uh, the maximum is come from here the 2.5 times faster. And for is 73, it's, it's about 1.8 or 1.7 uh, speed up. The majority uh, bottleneck here is the modular uh, operation cost uh, doing the vinegrade transformation. This one shows the performance result on the ARM Cortex M uh, MCU processor. And the, the benchmark here is for uh, four bit width, five bit activation, three by three uh, kernels. And uh, again, the orange color is the baseline, same as previous slide. And the blue one is our fast convolution. And uh, you can see that uh, if the channel number greater than uh, 16 or 32, uh, our result is a uh, up. Our, our result outperform the baseline by factor. Uh, the, the maximum is come from here, the 2.7x time faster. And for this, uh, on this MCU, so the major performance bottleneck is the memory size, which limited the transformation reuse. So the, the key takeaway are, as a classical vinegrade fast convolution require high precision um, arithmetic, that's not suitable to actuate a low precision convolution neural network. Um, we extend the vinegrade algorithm to a residual number system and the optimal RNS based vinegrade algorithm enables a low precision fast convolution for larger transformation dimensions, such as 10 by 10 to 16 by 16. Experimental evaluation shows up to 2.7x performance improvement uh, over the standard baseline for ARM Cortex A and M processors. Modular operation cost is high, which demands uh, native hardware support. We include the paper we published last year uh, at the bottom. Uh, feel free to check it out. With that, uh, I'm ready to answer questions. Thank you for a very interesting uh, study, Jay Gang. Um, so I have a question. Uh, have you, it looks like you've measured the performance on CPUs. Have you tried to uh, see if any acceleration or any uh, benefits if you run on an NPU or an accelerator? Uh, I think the answer is not yet. But I, I, I think I optimal, uh, optimize that um, uh, that should be a uh, speed up um, uh, there too, since uh, it's a generic uh, algorithm, should not depend on uh, platform. Mm -hmm. the, on, the only limitation is we require uh, a little bit higher input output channel to amortize the, transform the, amortize the transformation cost. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, it looks like um, you are targeting um, the low precision, like the eight-bit integer uh, networks for for this work. Right, for inference okay. only. Inference only, not for training. Right, it's low precision. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, again, just a quick uh, shout out to our sponsors. Bear with me for one minute. We have different categories. We have executive sponsors. First one being ARM. Then we have Qualcomm. We have Samsung. Platinum sponsors. Ada Compute, Lattice Semiconductor, Gold Sponsors, Brainchip, Babel Labs, 
DSP Group, Edge Impulse, Emza, Gray Matter Labs, Green Waves, Hymax, Imagimob, Latent AI, Maxim Integrated, Quixo, Reality AI, Sensi ML, Silicon Labs, Sentient, Google TensorFlow, Xmos, and lastly, Silver Sponsors, Edge Cortex, Hachi, and Synsense.